10 degrees downtown, Celsius that is. Uh, we're about 56, 57, something like that in Fahrenheit if you're watching from the other side of the world. Uh, it is Wednesday, July the 6th. I, I see the United States have celebrated the 4th of July a couple of days ago and had a lot of fun doing it. So uh, very, very envious I am, all except for Chicago at least. Uh, in the meantime, I better do this, I suppose. Let's get it underway. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and so, so very happy to have everybody joining us this morning. If you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, uh, you know what to do, right? No, you do. Seriously, you do. You really, honestly, sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people coming out of Georgia today is whosoever south good friends of ours and I'm so looking forward to catching up with Rowdy and with Sarah very very shortly. Uh, thumb, notification, yeah go on get epileptic with that thing. Like us, like us, like us, like us. You know what to do. Just, yeah, go for it. So, well, subscribe. Become part of the family here at Galaxy. Be a part of the noise. That's our family. It really is. And the noise is growing around the world. Be a part of it. In the meantime, let me do this. <laughs> Another new artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music The Orchard. And I want to tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Records, and Sony Music The Orchard here at Galaxy. Today, whosoever south, you might remember this one. Gosh, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> the other day at 25, you had the heat on. It's I, only 14 yeah. and the heat is not on. Uh, well, <laughs> that's me, isn't it? Just weirdo. Just a weirdo. I tell you, everyone. Gosh, I don't oh, know who let me loose with people, crazy. but that happened. <laughs> Back to these poor people. people are going, oh my God, look who's talking. <laughs> well, you never know. No, I feel sorry for anybody, actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. Um, Rowdy, do you remember Captain Kirk, uh, William Shatner? Yes, sir, I do. You do? Yeah. I, I seen yeah. the news yesterday that he's had to recall his woman's lingerie products. Really? Yeah, apparently Shatner panties isn't a good name. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Sarah's going to hit me, I know it. <laughs> I wouldn't think that would work out too good for him. Not too well for him, no. Especially the G string line. I think he needs sure. some <laughs> jokes, will you, Rick? I need what? some new jokes? Yeah. Really? You any, think I need some new jokes? Anyone that's looking now, know them. Oh dear, oh dear. Colter's joining us. Nice to have you on board, Donnie. It really, really is. And thank you for uh, joining us for the previous interview with Jimmy Sarr coming out of, uh, well, I think he's coming out of Chicago, just quietly. He says he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Van Cannon's also joining us. Uh, Terry Van Cannon, guys, is um, a slide steel master coming out of uh, North Carolina, actually. He's Absolutely okay. fantastic. He loves collaborating with people. He loves collaborating with people. Terry does. He really does. And I think he's pretty much our number one fan too. If you really have a look, you might find he's in everything. <laughs> yes, and we love you. We do. So, let's go live to the desk, guys. And I'll apologise now, okay? <laughs>
That's right. <laughs> I gotta turn the mic on. What happened there? Gosh, I forgot to turn oh. the mic on. Silly me. Uh, that's right. You are with Galaxy 107 FM, and today we're joined, coming out of Georgia, by the great band Whosoever South. I did mention that you may remember it. Yes, we've been, even though it is part of the new music from you, uh, from Whosoever South. We get so many requests for that particular track. It is phenomenal. It really, really is. And I want to talk about it with Rowdy and with Sarah, who's joining us today. Unfortunately, uh, Mike, not available? No, sir. He wasn't able to be here tonight. He oh. has some family stuff that he's working with, and uh, he hated to miss it. But uh, he's definitely definitely going to be watching and, and chiming in when he can, let, letting us know how we should did things. <laughs> well... On the next one. Yeah, we'll definitely make sure we drag him in here on the next one. We'll have to schedule around it. Well, I tell you what, next time you see him, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? Definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> dear. Sean Simpson is joining us again. Nice to have you on board, darling. It really, really is. Uh, now, guys, we started this with that ride with me. Now, this is part of the new sound of Whosoever South. Tell me a little bit about this track. This track, um, you know, Ride With Me actually hasn't even released as far as, we have a full music video for it. I don't even think it's available as far as streaming platforms. You guys was the first to get it. And uh, this song was produced out of a, a good friend of ours, a producer out of Nashville named David Browning. A uh, really upbeat guy, man. We just wanted to connect and we wanted to add a little bit of pop on this particular song as well as the country story. Uh, the love story of a, of a country couple uh, in South Georgia, you know, so that's that's where we went with it And that's how how it came came out and really excited about it excited about sharing the video with you guys too this summer Looking forward to that and I gotta be honest with you. We have been playing this uh, And when I come in on a Monday morning because we do the country show which is about 16 18 hours of country on a Sunday literally whosoever South gets played a lot they really do you know and uh when i come in on a monday uh, i go through all the requests literally that's coming overnight and everything like that and that's how pretty much we structure our shows here at galaxy is how many people request what songs right. what band what you know all right. that sort of stuff whosoever south literally with ride with me has been making inroads. In fact, uh, 7,199 requests to date so far. So believe me, that's fantastic. It really, really is. Awesome. Having said that, uh, believe me, I love, love, loving my people. Now, my people, I've got to be honest with you, uh, there's one line in there that just gets me every time, and it's called, you know, you call it country, I call it home. Believe me. I relate to that. I think that's the line that everybody has grabbed onto. And, and just, yeah, that's a slick line, man. It that, definitely is. That is a wordsmith line. It really, really is. So I applaud yeah, you for yeah. that. Uh, but tell me a little bit about this, especially Rear of Breed. Tell me about Rear of Breed. Uh, he's a good friend of ours out of North Carolina as well. And um, we connected just through mutual friends in the music business and... It, we just clicked right off the bat, you know, he's, he's, he just released a new album. Uh, we're, we're getting ready to release a new album, so we collaborated. We're actually going to be on his his new album as well, and uh, just a really good down-to-earth guy, man. He's yeah. excellent writer, excellent songwriter as well. Next time you see him, how would you like to hook him up with us? Uh, we would love to be able to uh, maybe do an interview with him as well. We Definitely. Just, like yeah, he would, man. That, that'd be awesome. He sure would. I don't know if you guys are ever on... Uh, on TikTok, but but he's he's very active on TikTok as as are we. Uh, it's become a very good platform for artists such as ourselves. So uh, you you know if you get the opportunity, definitely look us up and Rare Breed on TikTok for sure. Well, that actually is a good segue into a question we had from a fan of ours, uh, Rebecca, coming out of Alberta, Canada. She's saying, uh, guys, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on? Instagram, are you a sure. talker? Uh, but more importantly, guys, do you respond? Uh, we do. We try We try to respond as, soon as, possible. As, as quick as possible, you know, but life is crazy and busy. I mean, you can't, obviously, you can't respond all the time to everybody. It's just not, it's not possible. 
But we do the best we can with it for sure. Believe me, I understand 100%. I have people that do that for me. I don't actually respond to anything. I never find the time, I've got to be honest. Uh, even if I uh, find, find, find five minutes to get on Facebook, yeah, nah, <laughs> I just give it to somebody else. You do it for me, go on, there, right. literally. Yeah. Uh, simply, I understand that. Simply because I have so many people that just swamp my whole deal, you know what I mean? It's just like, nah, sure. it's, it's ridiculous, it is. It's a good problem to have, though, you know, it's it's, it's a good thing to have. And, you know, I think I think the real, the real fans that are tuned in with the music and tuned in with the artists, they understand that, too, you know. I mean, they understand that life is busy, you know. Uh, with, with not only with just making music and, and trying to put product out there and content, but life is busy with our jobs and in your family and, and everything, you tr your community. I mean, it's, it's everybody's trying to keep up, you know what I mean? Yes, I completely, 100% understand. Oh, by the way, happy 4th of July for the other day, too, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I hope you had a ball. I really, really do. So, we did. We had a great day. Yes, sir. Let me tell you about this because, as I said to you, I can't get through a breakfast show just recently without my people being requested over and over and over and over again. Now tell me, why am I getting such a successful song? What's the secret behind it? It's a hit, man. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I know, brother. It's a hit. It's, it's, it's straight from the heart. Um, you know, that song was produced out of Nashville also. Another good friend of ours, Dirty Rice, produced that track. And... Uh, Man, it's just, it hits home with everybody, you know. Uh, it's so many people can relate it's just real. to what we're saying and how we live, you know. That's, and it's not a gimmick, it's real life. This is how, this is how we live. It. And, and it's millions of people all over the world living the same, the same country life, and that's, that's my people. Absolutely. I can relate. And as soon as I heard it, I knew that I was going to get this kind of reaction from our audio audience. So, folks, believe me, very, very proud to release for the first time and let everybody know who it is. It is Whosoever South, my people. And of course, in there is Rare of Breed. You're right, here at Galaxy. Check right. it out. My people go up, ain't nothing gonna hold us down. Gotta put a little It's a work of art. It really is, man. Thank you, sir. And, and I get a kick out of coming to work every night, morning. And it's the first song on my playlist, literally. That's awesome, man. That's okay. good, man. We're, that's good news, man. It's big smile stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It really is big smile stuff. And, and uh, I, I know, smile. I don't want to talk about moonshine, but believe me, it, it's tailgate moonshine, have a good time with your friends kind of deal, you know what I mean? I hate you, bro. I, I love that. I do. I want to be a part of it, to be honest. Well, it's legal here. Come on down. You guys are going to have to come and visit. <laughs> oh, you're Tomorrow. damn right about that. But Tomorrow. moreover, you guys are going to have to come here and visit. It's legal to do it here. Yeah, we definitely do, man. We need to set us up a tour over there and go ahead and rock some of this out. Get this. We're going to drop a few more singles, and then we're going to drop the full album. And then it's going to be time to get on the road a little bit and go to work. So. Very cool. Very so, cool. So maybe something will happen. Well, um, I've got friends of mine coming out of... Canada, they have their own TV show, and what they do, uh, these guys are called uh, Rise Up TV, they're associated with Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard, uh, and we promote them all the time, but what these guys do is, they've got a big bus, <laughs> huge bus, right, and what they do is they go and get some poor unsuspecting band or artist, put them on the bus with a TV crew. Okay, yeah. and then they go and take you touring and put you on stages in front of people and stuff like that, and they film everything. So, uh, believe me, guys, cool. health warning here is whatever used to go on the road stayed on the road, not anymore. It's a TV crew. Yeah, <laughs> okay, TV what's, the what's the name of that show? They're called Rise Up TV. And it's the one I was telling about. What? They could uh, go on it if they want. Yeah, uh, Barbara was actually talking about it. You can go on it if you want. Now, I'll get Barbara to fill you in a little later on because I would love to introduce you to Mark, Lisa, Pamela, and all the crew from these yeah, guys because they, they work so hard for artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hang your own ear yeah. here. Let's go back to the air. Sorry, guys. Talk too much. Oh, my people. Hey, 
That's right. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. And yes, I can see my people going to number one in the Galaxy Country Charts in no time. Any time now, literally, I can see that happening. I really can. Having said Please. that, Having said that, of course, uh, uh, Michelle was asking, what does the band consist of? Well, let me tell you, it's a three-piece band uh, coming out of Georgia. They're uh, Christian hip-hop, Christian country, country rap, urban gospel, bluegrass. Now, you know, all of that, you put it all into a food blender. You hip frappe, you come out with Whosoever South. And believe me, great, great band, great sound. Uh, Rowdy Eunice, of course, Sarah Eunice is in the band, and Mike Mitchell as well. That's what it consists of. Now, uh, Tracy coming out of North Carolina, out of Char uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, is asking, are you guys looking at touring anytime soon? You know, we, we, have, been, we have been discussing a few different uh, venues and kind of, kind of focusing on our route, but at this point right here, we're, we're trying to get these singles out, get them to radio, uh, get them pushing to social media, drop the full album, and then back it up with a tour. So for sure, that's de that's definitely in the plan. Very, no doubt. very cool. And, and guys, we were discussing about you guys coming down here to New Zealand. We really can't wait to get you on New Zealand stages in front of New Zealand audiences. We really, really can't. Uh, we think we just blow it up here in New Zealand. We Absolutely. really do. Uh, having said that, though, uh, and Sarah, I, I mean this quite... If you're going to come out and hang out with me, keep in the back of your mind, bail money. Bail money. Bail money. Bail money. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm apparently a little bit of a um, handful from time to time. I hear uh, But Sarah, do you like shopping? A little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, when you come here to New Zealand, uh, I'll hook you up with Barbara. She's an Olympic shopper. <laughs> <laughs> she knows all the good stuff, all the best places to go. She really, really does. And she comes out, tuned out every day, so very nicely too. And she goes, oh, this whole thing? <laughs> She's wonderful, she really is. Uh, Donna Colton, nice to have you on board. Uh, I'll be here more often now. Uh, I put into Facebook jail for a while. What did you do? Get into Facebook jail. That's horrifying. Yeah, back. yeah. <laughs> nice to have the shackles off. Nice to have you back, Donnie. Emery Shea is watching us now. Emery, uh, you celebrated your birthday not so long ago. Believe me, very, very happy belated birthday wishes from us here at Galaxy. And uh, love to, uh, to your mother as well, okay? Yep. So have a very happy and successful day. Now, guys, I have one more track that I want to talk to you about. Now, I know... Absolutely nothing about this. We have played it once to make sure that it actually worked, if you know what I mean. Uh, because I, I just don't trust my production team. I don't, you know. They slip stuff into me and say, hey, and I go, oh, yeah, really? And it doesn't work. It's like, ah, gotcha. So we do, from time to time, actually check out their work. And I want to know all about this. Because, believe me, this one grabbed my attention in production very, very quickly, and I can see this is a great follow-up to my people. Tell me about my right. whole life. Tell me about this. Yeah, so so my, my whole life, actually, the song actually released today. This is the first day that the song is available for download or streaming or whatever. So you guys got it very first, right off the bat. Uh, the video for it actually drops tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on YouTube. We're going to do a live... Uh, we'll, We'll be doing lives on our Facebook and our TikTok as well as YouTube tomorrow night. Hitting them all pretty hard, pushing this new video. But the song uh, was produced by a, a producer out of uh, Santa Ana, California, named Asaf, a guy that we work with quite often. He's more like a brother, he's family. Yeah. And uh, the song really shows you uh, how we live. I mean, it shows you about, the song is about, I've been doing this my whole life. This is how we was raised. This is how we live. This is how we get down. And it really breaks it down. So it gives you a, a really inside look at, at the living here in South Georgia, back in the woods, you know. Well, you know, um, I think we can relate. I really do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and, and, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we, we come from a little town in the middle of the bush right here, but we're surrounded by about three major cities, if you know what I mean. But sure. we hold on to our roots here. 
There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's and, us, man. And that's, you have to. You got to hold on. That's where I see that the relation is just growing from there. So believe me, I think not only do my people understand this, I think you've been doing it your whole life, much like me as well. Literally, I yeah, have. Yeah. So this, that's right. this is going to be a very, very successful track. Check it out. Brand spanking you, releasing today to the world. Yes, my whole life. Yeah, whosoever south, right here at Galaxy. How are we feeling, guys? We okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice, nice. Gosh, it's warm in here. Is the windows open? <laughs> it's warm here, too. Yeah, it's super hot here. We're probably... We're in the upper 80s, lower 90s right now. Okay, um, unseasonably, we're in the middle of winter. And, and I mean, why can't we wearing t-shirts and stuff, you know what I mean? Right, right. And, um, employing some Kiwi air conditioning, it's called Sometimes open the bloody window. <laughs> there you go. We're too stingy to get real air conditioning. <laughs> right, I've got to let you know. Now, at Christmas time, just before Christmas, before we come into summer, um, my boss has come to me and says, Grant, you're going to need a fan for in here for the summer period. And I went, oh, sweet, yeah, that's me. cool. What would you like? And I says, oh, something about uh, six foot, six foot two, blue eyes, blonde hair, about 18 years of age. She can do this all day, maybe Swedish. They got me a gold ear. A normal fan. A yeah. normal bloody fan. <laughs> cheap, yeah. cheap. I tell you, they're damn cheap around here. They could at least give you some ice too. <laughs> Look, I've got to be honest. I've been blaming the washing machine for my clothing lately. I've been thinking, you know, it's getting a bit. Maybe I'm shrink. Maybe it's shrinking my clothes, right? Uh, my yeah. wife told me this morning I should be blaming the fridge. Yeah, I <laughs> blaming the wrong appliance. Yeah, exactly. So um, I don't think I'll be allowed near the fridge to get any ice. He's only skinny. I don't know what he's on about. You can't fatten a thoroughbred. Yeah, six foot two skinny. Six foot two legged. skinny, you reckon? Mm. Yeah, I've got this dead thing going yeah, on Yeah, yeah, but that's... It's uh, that's... taken me my whole life to make it. <laughs> guys, when they Love get over 50, it happens. Yeah. Gary, dear. What do you mean I talk too much? Yeah. How, how many cities, are, uh, how many countries are tuned up? So, how, hey, how, many, how many requests did you say for my people again? Or was it Ride With Me? Which one did you oh say? Um, Ride With Me was about 7,000. 100 and something requests. So, I'll get the stats. My people is way up over 10,000 requests. Okay. It's ridiculous. Honestly, we get 10,000 requests. And how, how long of a time period is that in? Uh, we've been playing it now for what, about four weeks? I don't know. You'd have That's to look great. at it. Uh, I think about four weeks. Uh, it, it's unheard of to be that popular that quickly. You know what I mean? That's great, man. Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> Okay, uh, I can confirm it's actually 10,291 requests for my people and it's growing. All right. That's ridiculous. Sure. Honestly, Rowdy, that, that is fantastic. No artist gets that high that quickly here at Galaxy. It just doesn't happen. Well, that's great, man. That's awesome. I think it made a huge connection with our audio audience. We call them the noise, literally, and the noise is growing like crazy. It's in every right. country of the world. Uh, have, have the noise is getting louder. That's right. Sorry? 162. Okay, sorry. I couldn't quite hear you before. Uh, 162 countries are tuned in right now. All right, what's up? That's not bad. We're in every corner of the world, my friends, and we're making right. superstars right. of you. Uh, as we are, unfortunately, uh, due to a little time constraint, unfortunately we can't do the other two songs that we are uh, due to do, uh, not only on your part, mostly on our part as well, because we do have a meeting 
with the government of Papua New Guinea next, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, we're very, very limited for time because uh, they're going to be talking some serious business. Uh, and in fact, they're going through their elections over in Papua New Guinea right now. So uh, if you are from Papua New Guinea, use your constitutional right, go and tick box 21 and so on. Not that we're biased, okay? Fair enough. Uh, and thank you for that. Uh, but yes, unfortunately, we are going to have to move on. What's the chances of catching up again in the near future? Absolutely, man. It, anytime you guys need us. I, I want to say one thing to everyone that's tuned in right now also. Uh, we're curious to know who's listening and where you're from. So if you would, hit us up on our social medias. Let us know you, you heard us right here on the Galaxy. Let us know where you're from or where you're representing. And uh, go ahead and do that. Connect with us. We want to know. Are you sure? You're going to get swamped now. And, 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 <laughs> all social media, all you got to do is look for whosoever south. We there. There you go. Do that. Do yeah, that. Do that. Do that. Get in touch with whosoever south and just say, you come from Galaxy. You're a friend of ours. We would love for you to represent. Literally. Having said That's that, right. having said that, my friends, we are going to have to move on. But uh, please, please, please come back again. We love, love, love the work that you produce. Uh, Sarah, we love you. Randy, we love you. And, and don't forget, poking the eye for Mike, okay? That's right. God bless you guys. Thank you for having me. Very cool. Don't go anywhere just yet. We've got a couple of things we're going to do. But first of all, let's go back to the studio. You're right here at Galaxy. Good morning. Another Indie Artist and Q brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM.